Hottest action RPG games available in 2021. Let's start with Darksiders Genesis. This is a great game with a great humor and very positive reviews on Steam. It is really well balanced to play in co-op mode, but also you can play it in a single player as well without any regrets. You probably have no friends anyway. Although I must warn you that here you will do more shooting than slashing, but you will get a fair share of the latter as well. Game has great graphics, a bit childish dialogues and no vodka bender Class, which is a shame. Anyway, from me it gets solid 8 vodkas out of 10. Or should I give it liquid vodkas? Can't decide yet. Grim Dawn this is how indie games should be made. I was thinking that this is a triple A title for years and only recently realized that Grim Dawn is nothing like that. It was a Kickstarter project that accumulated more than half a million dollars in pledges and now it has sold more than 2.5 million copies. Few former employees have worked with Titan Quest before, so they had a tremendous experience in this field. If you never played it, don't hesitate. There is no way that you will be disappointed, although it can happen but I can't promise that you will play it for days and days. It will definitely bring you fun for some hours at least, like, you know, a new ladyboy friend you just met on Tinder. Titan Quest Anniversary before making Grim Dawn, many of the developers were involved in making Titan Quest. Originally, the game was released in 2006, so it would be outdated by now, but thanks to this major overhaul, it is not. Here you will get better resolutions, larger camera distance, multiplayer, mod support, Steam achievements, balls enlargement pills, improved enemy and pet AI, countless bug fixes, dozens of new heroes, and so on. Yeah, you heard it right, but sadly, it's a joke. No big ball for you, my friend. I'm sorry. Titan Quest is a great game, one of the most loved by the action RPG community and I couldn't recommend it to you enough. Shadows Awakening at last, someone has made some innovation in the action RPG field. Here you will control a hero that can switch worlds. You can travel through the world of spirits or shadows, and you can also travel through the world of just normal world if you can call it like that, because it is anything but normal, just like your sister. You can switch between worlds anytime, and that is really awesome. Imagine, if you had two girlfriends, and instead of lying to one when you are with another, you could just switch them like gears and any time, huh? Although we all know that you have only one and you are faithful to her because she is imaginary and lives inside your head. Last Epoch game takes us to the land of Etera, which is devoured by a dark force called the Void. Its frightened inhabitants hid in an underground city. Yep, from the darkness. Underground. Seems legit. Fortunately, not everything is still lost. The main character, who is one of the survivors, goes in search of the artifact, which will allow him to travel in time. I guess it looks like this, or, or this, or maybe this, because vodka also helps you to travel in time very quickly, but only forward. I like the graphic style, colors, build styles and some really original looking enemies. Game is an early access, but it has very positive reviews, so you can try it if you have an urge. Warhammer Inquisitor Marta let me start from the price. Despite being released in 2018, it still costs 50 euros. That is a lot. You can buy 7 bottles of cheap vodka or 172 kilograms of carrots in my city of Vilnius for this price. So, is it worth 50 euros? No, in my opinion it's not, but if you can manage to snatch it on a sale, then we are talking. But keep in mind that you need a gamepad to play this game on your PC without problems, because playing with keyboard and mouse is pretty terrible. The action of the game evolves in a really dark, gritty, gothic, grim, dystopian future of the darkness and gloomy pain of shadows of evil of the planet of the apes, where you travel through the innards of gothic class ship named Marta. And the gameplay, the main thing of every game, is highly addictive. It will burn tens of even hundreds of your hours even quicker than vodka does. Torchlight 2 
While Torchlight 3 is a mess, ignore it and play Torchlight 2 instead if you are in need of some colorful action. For example, I can't play Torchlight games. I don't know why, but I have a feeling that if I was like 12 years old, that color palette would be nice for my eyes. But now I am an old grumpy man and I can't take Torchlight seriously. For me, it's like playing with a Disney princess in a Disney world. Don't get me wrong, the game is great, very complex and fun. And if you are cool with this style, it may be one of the best action RPG games you have ever played. Gatewalkers this is not a standard action hack and slash game. It has a strong survival element implemented, and I should say that I'm not a fan of those things. I don't find it cool that you must eat and drink water all the time. I find that annoying routine that can be avoided by not including this in the game. Also here you have to build fireplaces to not go cold or be afraid of the dark. Although, to be fair, shadows that fireplaces make are way spookier than just a darkness. Sadly, they never went full retard with that survival stuff, you can't do everything. Like, you can't build toilets in strategic places in case you have diarrhea, right? You don't have to go to a toilet at all. You know, the fact that you eat all the time, but never go for the big one, th that, that is, you know... This is some bullshit. Yeah, can you imagine how full of shit your character is by the end of the game? Anyway, this is a fresh take on action RPGs and it really deserves a place in this list. Or maybe a fireplace, so you could burn all this survival nonsense out of it. You can play Gatewalk as Alpha for free and a full version will be released someday this year. Victor Vran yeah, the movement system is a bit different than in other action RPG games. Yeah, you can jump and dodge. Also, you can use a keyboard and move with WASD keys and use mouse to aim your weapon. That is pretty cool, and I think that many ARPGs should follow this path. I also have to mention Motorhead through the Ages DLC, where you can harness the power of the Motorhead to defeat evil and demon-infested worlds intertwined with the songs of the band. So, it's probably probably the most metal DLC ever released, and if you're a fan of Motorhead, it's just a must play for you, and if not, just go and play with your dolls instead, I know that you keep them in your purse. Path of Exile this game is free to play, but of course it tries to feed itself on your inner greed demons, try to convince you to buy some cosmetics and storage space, but if you can stand before that urge like a true warrior, nobody is taking a dime from you. Also, in-game your power is limited only by your skills and items, not by money you spend. Game is constantly updated, new areas and mechanics seems to come every quarter, and Path of Exile 2 is on the corner as well. Game also has a story mode, which is like the game itself, absolutely free. Sometimes game is crazy hard, especially if you are a new player, so if you feel like you are stuck... It's not your fault. <laughs> it's That's right, don't be afraid to use some guide or something, you will thank yourself later. The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing – Final Cut this hack and slash game is really proud owner of very positive reviews on Steam. If you are in doubt, you can even download a free demo at first and try it out. That's why I love the gaming world. As I have said before in one of my videos, in the real world nobody will let you, in example, try your new girlfriend before you make a serious move on her or in her. And here you can penetrate this game with your filthy fingers without any consequences. Although keep in mind that the final Final Cut version is quite expensive, and you may want to buy something cheaper from this list, like Grim Dawn or something. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, bye!